Well, hey everybody. Today, I'm going to show you a demonstration of, we're going to do heat pressing with these rhinestone iron-on transfers. And I just got a brand new heat press machine today. FedEx just brought it on a Saturday, no less. So, as you can see, I'm letting it heat up because the instructions say that it should heat to 385 degrees, medium to heavy pressure. Okay, so looking like we're only about $2.99, so we got a ways to go. But I have a piece of plain cotton fabric that I'm going to try first. So this is my first time ever with working with a heat press machine. Um, I can honestly say I was not 100% satisfied because when it came in the box, there was a little bit of stuffing hanging out on the edge. Hopefully that's not important. And I have it actually out here today in my workspace, which is still unfinished. And I know I haven't shown you guys yet. Um, so we're going to see how things go. Okay, that beeping sound you hear means that I went ahead and I preset the alarm to 385, which is the temperature that I wanted. As you can see, it did that and it's letting me know that. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Oops, wasn't supposed to press OK. Okay, press that little button on the side. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my piece of artwork stuff on there and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my canvas bag on there from uh, another project, and I've got it all nicely smooth, and I'm being real careful not to burn myself. So, I'm going to take apart the, separate the white plastic film from the stencil, and I'm going to go ahead and lay it face down onto the fabric. And then we're going to do our little heat press thing. So we're just going to lay that on there. Hopefully this will work. You're watching in real time, just like me. So I'm going to finish reading my instructions. Then, okay, we're going to push, pull this back around. And we're going to pull this handle down. And hopefully this works. It's supposed to go for 10, minutes, 10 seconds. And I press the timer. And it's counting down. And when it's done, hopefully I've got enough pressure, it will be perfect. Let's hope for the best that I didn't mess everything up. So I'm going to press the little button to turn that beeping noise off. Lift this up, swing it around, and see what we've got here. Now, we're just going to peel this up slowly. Yay! I hope you can see this. All of my rhinestones are sticking like they're supposed to. Yay! As you can see, the paper came off clear. All my rhinestones are actually attached. And that looks really groovy. So I'm going to put it aside to cool. And I'm going to go ahead and start to work on the next item. Okay, as you know, for the custom designs for my... Um, handmade handbags, there's usually, oops, sorry, there's usually an iron-on, um, something that's going to go in the middle, a big piece of glitter, um, rhinestone art, or fine art. So I'm going to take my rhinestone iron-on, and we're going to put it here, and my temperature is still at 385, so we're going to go ahead and position this exactly where I want it to go right hopefully in the middle lay it down flat a little bit see the problem I was having with this before is trying to use just a regular iron was not working well so that was my main reason uh, using a regular iron just was not working well so that was my main reason for um, getting a heat press so let me go ahead and set this up, set the timer, and we're going to hope for the best. So far, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so just going to swing this back around. 
Make sure it's all lined up on there. And I think just press this down. Press the buzzer for 10 seconds. Do, 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 do. And in 10 seconds, hopefully we'll get a perfect, beautiful rhinestone image attached to this canvas perfectly for my purses. Yay! And there's a the buzzer. It's going off. I'm going to turn the alarm off. Push that back. And swing this away because it's hot, 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 hot. And now we're going to just carefully peel up and see what we got here. Oh, some did not stick. Damn it. It's probably a not enough pressure. So, what can you do? I'll probably have to glue those back on individually. No, wait, wait, wait. It's coming, it's coming. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna press these back down. I'm gonna make this work by hook or by crook. So yeah, okay. Just have to be careful, slowly bringing it up, making sure everybody's stuck now. I don't wanna press down again with the heat because what happened last time I did that, it really messed up the design. So what looks like is happening here, as long as I go really slow, because these are different type of rhinestones and this is hot, believe me. I'm just gonna push those back down. And then I think if we let it cool and give it time, it probably needed more time. Everything will be okay. Um, okay, they're coming off. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna work out just fine. So we're getting that down slowly but surely. See things, nothing is ever easy is my motto. You know, it just never is. You think something's gonna start out easy and then it doesn't. But I'm glad you get to kind of see this with me. That way you'll know that if you make mistakes, you know, they won't, it won't work out so bad. Hey, well, actually, this came out much better than the one before. And see, very few came off. I don't know if you can see that, but very few of the rhinestones came off. Not enough so much that you would notice. So here is my image all ready to be made into a purse. Now I'm going to let this cool so the glue will stick. And we're going to try something else with this um, heat press.